color split in the third set of Ravnica or something. Ooh, <laughs> for giving me this time. Thank you. I already win. Thank you. Yeah. I'm gonna <laughs> pump up your. Oh my god, Atrax is legal in this? Jesus. Is yeah. it? Ooh. He is. All the four color ones are actually legal. Ooh. Okay. One Jota uh, again. So, Arch Enemy? Beards on Cumball. <laughs> Angry Slots on Whisper. Do you mean Arch Enemy against the Jota deck? Yes. yes. That would be a better thing to do. Ooh, I'm getting a little bit of echo there, too. <laughs> Well, I specifically didn't take my Jota deck into this because I knew you were running it, Jeremy. Nice. Try it. I was very torn on what to play. <laughs> I have 50-something decks now, so... Oh, nice. Yeah, this is actually the one-week anniversary of me getting into the format, and I have, like, three now. Nice. Nice. Well, welcome Although to the I, fold. I built the, uh, I built my Helia deck before we released the, uh... The new sheet. Yeah, so I need to go back through it. I, I'm sure something's wrong. Oh, I actually have to turn off the stream because I do not want a ghost. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for that. Thank you. Just sit there and look at Jeremy's hand. Hmm, I wonder what he's going to play. Hmm. Eh, probably none of these things are not important. <laughs> none of these nine cost things in my hand. <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty much. I have found I probably need to put more removal in this deck, even though it's mono black. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Valder says, Jeremy, Wild Bolt and Seth are being mean to me since you left. <laughs> well, tell them to stop. I will come in there. And wag my finger disapprovingly. All right, combo piece one of seven. <laughs> <laughs> I really liked the uh, loading ready runs um, nickname video for Dominaria. If you've not I seen it, I missed it. Yeah, came out a uh, oh. last list uh, Monday or Tuesday. Oh man. Please tell me they did the Hey Little Mama for Whisper because no. it's obvious. It was what? just uh, one of them. One of them said, uh, you know, introduced it and said, "All right, Whisper, Blood Liturgist," and Graham just goes, "Okay, Blood Liturgist," <laughs> and pretty much almost broke Cameron. He he was just gone. My favorite one, Alex and Cameron, are my two favorites on the Nickname Podcast because. Cameron dies quietly and Alex dies very loudly. <laughs> that is true. Yeah, they did that one. There were a couple really, really good ones in there. That one was well, I, by far one of my favorites. I definitely know what I'm watching after this game's over. So. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm just going to get greedy here, honestly. Get greedy. Ooh. You have the most lands, you must be punished. Okay. <laughs> Obviously. He ramped, get him. Now I'm officially winning 42 life total. Yeah. Ooh, it paid off. Wait, I can't cast that. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> it paid off. It paid with off. My... Crap. Paid off with my gonna... one black mana left. It's gonna tap out here. <clears throat> yeah, no big deal. Cough, cough. I think I'm definitely going to have to update this list. I'm already looking at it like, eh, this isn't great. Will he get the fourth visit? <laughs> right? I'm wondering. Oh man, you can have every color of mana forever with Atraxa. Yep. 
That, well, that is the plan usually, but has anyone ever noticed that they're just lighting the Boros city on fire all the time? Why though? Because fire. <laughs> touche, sir. Touche. Because fire's awesome. It's a cleansing fire, right? It is the fire of justice. That's yes. That is exactly how it is. Hi, buddy. Come up here. All right. Oh, hello. Now we have a cat callbacks. Blood liturgist. Blood liturgist. <laughs> cat stream. Good old reanimate blood artist for no ability to do so. Yeah. Looks like a movie. Walter says hello. Here come the tracks. Here are the purrs. Yeah, Goodness. he's got heavy purrs. He's very, very fluffy cat. He's a very old man too. My girlfriend's house cat or housemate's cat will rub up on you and then immediately just latch onto you. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. Don't leave me. This one, yeah. this one like <laughs> tends to come over, rub against your leg once, and then just flop over onto your feet. Mm-hmm. It's just kind of how he does things. More like, I love you, I'll eat you immediately. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep, that's just one, Walter. If you're in the Discord, we actually have uh, emotes of their faces. We have all four cats, and or all three cats and the dog. All four pets. That uh, is adorable. There... There we go. There's Dota. Get that one out. See. see An aggressively happened. costed flyer. Nothing else could be good about this. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Derp Attack. Let's see. He's my old man cat. We adapted him when he was seven years old. Somebody left him because they couldn't move out of the state with him for some reason. I guess. That's weird. Yeah. That, well, well, that probably was... all that sweet H he's trafficking in his stomach. Yeah. It was... <laughs> it was, uh... Probably something very, very different from that, though. Because they said that, uh... When we got him, he had, like, a bit of an infection on his skin. Uh, near his tail. Oh. And they, they had fixed it, and, and by the time we adopted it, he was... Like almost, he was like ninety five percent healed, but it's just one of those where they were like, "Oh yeah, we can't keep him anymore," and they just kind of like left him at the at the Ronek oh, that SPCA, and it was yeah. So we adopted him just because he was an older cat, and he's been very lovey to me since we've had him. <laughs> this is the turn where I lose six life. <laughs> six well, life. Have I mentioned wh why I hate Comball? Ugh, yeah, Comball is... <laughs> oh, God. <Yeah. laughs> Draw two, lose four. Mm -hmm. Well, see, like, I... okay, so I have three possible commanders for this, and I can never ch pick which one I want. It's like you have Comball, uh, Tesa, and then you have Opsidat. Powerful magic. <laughs> like, hey. They're all really good commanders. He's but... an Avenger. Thank you so much for the auto-host five viewers. Welcome, everybody. Uh, Bima, what is 3DH versus EDH? Here, I will post the lengthy explanation. If you want to take a check, uh, take a look at that and check it out. And if you have any more questions, feel free to ask. There are definitely plenty of people in the Discord server with, who will be willing to help you out. And there's plenty of people to hang out and chat with and play with in there. My favorite way of explaining the format is Vampiric Tutor is one penny. Right? <laughs> Vampiric Tutor, Lightning Greaves, a bunch of stuff are uh, one penny. What, Survival of the Fittest? Yeah. <laughs> Sylvan Library? Yeah, they're mm -hmm. all like Necropotence. one, two, three. Uh, Less than five cents. Necropotence. <laughs> Necropotence is eight cents. Don't want to stop oh, on eight. Board. Eight cents. Okay, my bad. It's, yeah, right. It's still ridiculously cheap. <laughs> Cat likes to eat weird food. One will eat shredded cheese, and the other one will eat yogurt. We 
tend to stay away from giving our cats people food. Well, all of our animals. My wife is a uh, very staunch on that subject. Like, nope. We had a random cat show up at our doorstep one night. Oh yeah. Yeah, and so we tr fostered it and trying to find it a home. We never could, so we ended up having to just take it to the local shelter. But we named it Beerus because it got viciously aggressive trying to eat your food. <laughs> <laughs> like, if you had a bowl or anything, she, she was literally trying to get into your bowl the whole time you're eating. <laughs> oh. Wow. Yeah, these ones are, when they get hungry, they, they will kind of come over and step on you and try and get on top of you while you're eating. Yeah. Usually, with our two cats that we normally have, we just leave a bowl out constantly for them. Of course, the vets are always like, you're just feeding them junk food if you let them have full access to their bowl. Yeah. But, eh. We only do the twice a day thing. Um, mm -hmm. But probably should move to just the full amount per day or whatever. I think chat is broken and I can't see other users. Uh oh. Jamie Topples auto hosting you for 35 viewers. Thank you so much, Jamie. Another member of the nice. Viper Brood stream team. How rude. Welcome everybody who is coming by. Test, thank you. You asked me for the test. Hopefully everybody can see that now. Um, all right. Now is where we die. No. See what broken things Joda can do. <laughs> broken. <laughs> um, not much, honestly, right now. Ooh, has anybody... I'm not going to spoil it, but has anybody seen Deadpool 2 yet? Nope. No, not yet. Mm -mm. Yeah, it Pretty was one funny. of those where I kind of wanted to... And uh, my no. wife very much didn't want to, so... <laughs> well, I'm definitely going to buy it on DVD. Yeah, I'll get, it, I'll get it when it comes out, for sure. Deadpool has been the only movie in years that I've actually went and bought the DVD. Oh, yeah? I loved it so much. Nice. You'll like this one then, too. It's really good. I like Combo Why Life Gain. Me? Combo <laughs> Life Gain. Combo Life Gain has you on the throne. Yeah. Cam Sack Frexing got Flying Vigilance, Lifelink, whatever over there. Death Touch. Person on Discord I saw today said uh, it's a great card. I saw it today and it was great. Nice. And Keeper, thank you so much for the host for four viewers. Oh yeah, I can't look at chat now because I don't want to ghost your stream. Yeah, well, you can for, do the pop out chat. You can do for as far as pop out chat goes. Yeah, that's that's completely legit. Oh, but I'm so lazy though. <laughs> hey, it's one of his other commanders. That is. Yeah. That is legit. Fair the highest. Family of ghost dads? Fair enough. My commander has flying and none of your stuff does. <laughs> uh, stuff later on does. Yeah. But if you want to take life from me, she'll just keep attacking you until you have a blocker. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah, I have not seen it yet. Um, My wife doesn't want to see it, and this weekend is our anniversary weekend. It was Our anniversary was actually yesterday, so... Hey, congrats. Thanks. It's five years as of yesterday, so I was like, yeah, that's fair. She doesn't she doesn't really go out to the movies that often anyway. She would like her family bed. was more of a like <laughs> nice. Her family was more of like a once or twice a year kind of oh, yeah. to the movies thing and I was I mean, I basically got a degree in movies, so So it was like I like oh. I liked to go even when I was in college like once a month almost. Oh yeah. Well, I'm whenever the production too. So mm. whenever I was working every single uh, weekend, the group from work would actually go watch movies. Yeah. I think the Deadpool two runtime is two hours or so, right? Yeah, it's yeah. right around that. I'll, thank you, Caboose Moose, for the happy anniversary. Yeah. Um. I'll probably go watch it on my own, uh, possibly this upcoming weekend, uh, or something like that. Thank you, Rawhide. Have your anniversary, man. How long have you and your wife known each other, if you don't mind me asking? Uh, we've known each other for about 11 years now. 
We've met while we were in college, dated all throughout college, and then when I was a uh, first year, I think, no, second year that I was down here, she was finishing up school still in Michigan, and uh, we finally got married, and then she moved here about a year later, got done with school. I'm, a I'm actually getting married this coming Saturday. Oh, congrats. Thank you. Hope everything goes well, and know that there will be something that goes wrong. Oh yeah, for sure. Hundred percent of the time, uh, we had <laughs> we had ours was like a lot of uh, do it yourself kind of stuff. Um, so like my wife and her bridesmaids all made the uh, like the centerpieces and the um, the bouquets and like a bunch of other stuff because they just wanted to mm -hmm. have like that kind of touch on it. Uh, but while we were in the middle of the ceremony, uh, realized that her maid of honor forgot to grab my ring. Oh, <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, we I'm... did not have my ring while we were doing the ceremony and it was just like a, it was a fairly casual, it was like an outdoor, you know, um, we had to rent this uh, space at the country club because the place that she wanted to go to, this little historical church, uh, was taken. And her, we didn't think that her grandparents would do very well at it because it didn't have AC or anything. So we went to this country club and rented it out and we were just kind of there. And it was actually really funny. One of our friends officiated for us. Um, oh, nice. And uh, he was just like, all right, he, he's one of the, like the wackier friends that I have too, so... We were kind of like, oh man, I kind of want to read over his what he's gonna say, but I kind of don't. Uh, but my best man looked it over, and he was like, "Don't worry, it's gonna be funny." And at the very end, he did yeah. the uh, if there's uh, you know friends or family, uh, basically the if there's anybody that objects to this, and he's like, in front of friends and family and that woman in the sand trap on the ninth, and you turn around and actually during the event sh there was a woman in the sand trap on the ninth. <laughs> <laughs> and it was like the best thing because it just happened to work. Nice. Sometimes a little improv goes a long way. Right. Um, so we'll do Actually we don't even do that. Alright. Not going super nuts, but there's this. <laughs> nice. Did I pretend to put the ring on? Actually, her maid of honor took her ring off, her her uh, engagement ring, and uh, handed it to her, and she put it on my pinky. Hmm. I don't know, I can't do anything here. So, it's kind of funny. Just wanted to tap out so I could have eight. There we go. Rawr. Man, forty four, eh? That attracts us. And it's gonna start getting bigger too. Yeah, right. <laughs> that that's pretty <laughs> nice with the sagas, you can make them go off. Right? But I'm I missed my line drop this turn though. So this past turn. Hey, you got five oh, lands. You're good. Blow up all Thank his you, Ryan. <laughs> uh, you're playing black, so all of my lands probably not. You probably hit one or two. Oh, uh, my favorite thing to do with the new Selesnia deck that I made is Tristani, and mm -hmm. it it uses like Helm of the Host and like copy like make token copies. And I was playing against a Jota, and I stone rained him with uh, acidic slime six times. Chief. Oh. He deserved it. He, I, he deserved it. He I owned me for uh, green, and I was like, well, I'm just going to ruin your life then. <laughs> yeah, I didn't put Ion in here. I don't even think it's legal, but even if it was, I really dislike it. Uh, it like is. Yeah. I, I yeah. just really dislike oh. locking people out of like a This is paper anyway, yeah. Oh, sure. Even in paper, I'm still like... Something like Ion is just a little too much for me. Yeah, I am kind of a bit of a dick move. <laughs> that and like Derp's... Nevermore. 
Ugh. Yeah, oh yeah. Derp says, I'm back with another reprint game. Bean say, your Tatioma deck from Commander Versus is almost Commander Illegal. Just need to replace Mystic Remora, Rhystic Study, Commander Sphere, Thought Vessel, and Tribal... Oh, 3DH Illegal? Nice. I have a paper Tatioma deck. Ugh. So good. Yeah, I'm, I, that's like one I want to build is Tatiova and um, and Moldrotha are the two that I really want to build from this set. Dreadbeard, Dread, stop trying to make me graft your things. I don't want to I know, right? Them, right? <laughs> like, no! I, can't ever I don't want it. I can't wait. Oh man, that Song of Frey Elise is about to go off too. Right? Yeah. I can't wait. Yeah, that's a nice thing with the tracks that you can make them, the sagas tick up faster. Can't wait to play Helm of the Hosts. I don't know, I'm almost set. wishing I didn't proliferate, though the extra mana may have been nice. Yeah. yeah. Can't wait to play Helm of the Host with Captain SSA. It's in the deck, but I haven't played the deck since putting the card in. And Derp Attack is asking, how much would Illusionary Mask cost nowadays? In 3D Age? No. Like, uh, Derp Attack did a kind of a, a thing last last time or a couple times ago where oh, no, i'm just getting beat on just said you know here's an old well, card block that one what would it cost you can block it currently no i'm gonna do some fancy pants stuff next turn so i gotta have all my creatures uh, you're gonna make a, a humongous um prince over there maybe prince The Westphal Abbey. <laughs> I think. Uh, oh, Ormondal? No, not quite. But I'm gonna do do some cool stuff. So, gonna hold down control. Oh, Ooh. Yeah. Okay, hold down control. Right there. Sacrifice him. Then in response, oh, stack my triggers. Uh, you have life. I don't then, think that Helm or that uh, illusionary mask would be printed with the exact wording at all. It it is a bit too confusing. I think they would be changed a bit and then. Oh wait. Probably no, yeah, not. you're gonna remove your guys. I've made a terrible mistake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because the exile trigger is still on the stack. I'm still draining you for life. <laughs> Wait, I can I can fix this. I can fix this. You want to sack him to draw cards in response? Oh, I'm one short from transforming Westvale too. That's so sad. Oh well. I think if they were to make that today, Illusionary Mask would just be a an artifact that says that each creature comes in as a morph. Or man it would just manifest all your creatures or morph all your creatures or whatever. Probably cost a decent amount. Six. I thought it was so cool. Thought you were being fancy. Too Dear many God. triggers. Oh my god. <laughs> Legendary Mask is one of those cards, even if you know the card works, it's still oh, confusing. I'm only losing one. Yes. You're not wrong. One of the best interactions I saw with Illusionary Mask was um back when I was first starting to work at Star City Games, so it was like six, seven years ago. We were at an event, and uh, AJ Kerrigan was playing uh, Illusionary Stifle Knot in Legacy, because it was actually a deck then. Uh, so it was Stifle Knot, and it had Illusionary Mask in the deck, and he played Illusionary Mask, and then he cast uh, Dreadnought, you know, face, face, face down, and his opponent like Ooh. picked up illusionary mask and started reading it and he just went no 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 you're gonna want to call a judge because it does not yeah, do screwed on man it does not do what it says like it does got it you hit me with it 
This is retribution. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Kambal's hit you for way more damage than my commander has. Yes, but shut up. <laughs> <laughs> but your commander does more things. Mine, mine does one thing. Yeah, make me mad. <laughs> it doesn't do much when I have no mana. Well, you're, everything was going to start getting bigger on your board very quickly. <sighs> but don't worry, you can't... Well, no, yeah, Arcana can't. of Justice that prevents Jeremy from ever being attacked. We can't remove that. I mean, uh, I'm just well, saying, I think I mean, there were better targets, but whatever. <laughs> I okay. have more than one removal spell, promise. Well, I know you do, but... Also, I would have had to discard otherwise, so... Value. Well, I can't recast it, so don't have land. Give me an old set to work with. Uh, let's go with alliances. Kind of seems like all my indestructible vigilance things are going one way, though. Um, is this the same game from fifteen twenty minutes ago? Uh, we started this one like, yeah, probably like forty minutes ago, thirty minutes ago. Ooh, that's a good one. Yeah, that's all I'm gonna be able to do for the turn. You can actually say yes to your graph trigger. <laughs> hmm. Again, I deserve all of this. <laughs> well, if you oh, had gotten rid of the Blazing Archon instead, they'd probably be attacking Jeremy right now. Along with the track stuff. So. But! <laughs> this is where you yell out, I regret nothing! Yeah, that's too bad. <laughs> hmm. It's not like I'm doing much here anyway. Well, I have five lands, so... I also I can have play five lands. One spell, but you also have two mana rocks. And a Sylvan carry added. But and a guy just, that lets you cast everything for five. I also still only have five lands. I have cards in my hand I can't even cast. I have two twos. I can't <laughs> recast my commander. I'm not going to be doing much. You've got a draw engine and a doubling engine. We're gonna I think knock you'll be that okay, down just a little bit. <gasps> you monster. Yeah, well, you're way above 40 at this point. Yeah, well, no, he's at 40 at this point. Oh, now he is at 40. Sacrifice! Yes. <laughs> Alright, that's a snap death touch. That's just the one that drains and gains. Yeah. Yeah. I just don't want to take the commander damage. Yep, that is fair. Um, there we go. So... Here comes the big thing. Not really. Oh, the little guy. Draw engine. Yeah. Yep. Can get rid of something. Yeah, this is X. Uh, this is a uh, this is game two. Like I said, there's really I'm not really doing much with this Jota at the moment. No, not currently. I cast the Archon more as a uh, just a protection, you know, like Windborn Muse almost. Mm -hmm. A better Windborn Muse. Better, much, much better, but still, I'm still getting hit. Card is pillage. So, what would pillage cost if it was printed today? Uh, pillage remember. was reprinted in A twenty five. Yes, but well, not reprinted, but if it was first printed today, if it never existed before, oh, and it was printed 
in a set that is coming up, what would be its mana cost? I mean, I feel like they pretty much nailed it with the one red red. Not to be, you know, unimaginative. <laughs> yeah. Evil monkey rules. When you kill, when you guys yes. just have a game of Commander versus where it's just Kyle in the room and he's playing against himself and has to keep getting up and changing seats. <laughs> when will we do that? That's actually a pretty good, uh, pretty good, like, April Fool's episode. Does Director Kyle even play Magic? He does not. That's what I suspect. No, he's he understands the game enough to be able to direct it, and he's actually the one who caught our uh, mistake from last week. Because he was just like, I might be wrong, but wouldn't it work like this? And I was like, well, I don't think so, question mark. And then Ricky happened to be walking by the desk, and we were like, hey, Ricky, come here. Let us throw this theoretical out at you. And he was like, oh, yeah, you guys got that wrong. Like, <laughs> okay. So what was it? I didn't, uh, hmm. I skipped the, that was the popper commander one, yes. right? I skipped that When one. Grun attacks, it says double its power and toughness. Uh yeah. We let the power and toughness happen, and then I played, like, diminish to turn it into a 1-1. One, one. And so we were all under the impression that because its power and toughness were doubled uh, after the effect, it would just become a 1-1 one, one with just the counters on it that were on it cur currently. So it would be like a 17-17. Seventeen, seventeen. However, double its power and toughness actually means it gains plus X plus Y until end of turn where X is its power and Y is its toughness. And the mm -hmm. layer that affects that is actually after the layer that affects, like, the base power and toughness or something mm -hmm. like that. So it has to do with layers, like, the 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 counters on it are all correct, uh, but once you get to the layer of, all right, it actually gets the plus X, plus Y, it would have been a much, much bigger creature and would have killed Steven... So I would not have gotten the point for saving him. And then it would have killed me when I actually tried to turn it into a 1-1 one, one again with snake form. Um, it would have killed me that turn. I have a similar situation with that. I can't remember what the creature was, but it was just just a bunch of random nonsense. Yeah, layers are hard. Huh. So yeah, it would have ended up being like... Uh, so it had like 16 counters on it, and it was a 5-5. Five, five. So it would have been a 21-21, uh, and then it would have gotten plus 2, plus 2 in Trample. So it would have been a 23-23 Trampler, and then attacked. So it would have doubled that to a 46-46, uh, and then I would have made it a 1-1. One, one, so it would have been a 41-41 or something like that. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Um, but we were under the impression that it would have just been a base 1-1 one, one with the 17 counters, and it would have just been like an 8, or 16 counters, and it would have been 17-17, eight, so that was it. I have a quick question, because sure. what I get uh, varies upon response. <laughs> okay. Um, how quickly do you want this game to end? <laughs> uh, that's a real question. Do I get one more turn to do shenanigans? Um, or do you win right now? I can't win right now. Okay, then I don't... <laughs> what? Valdor, how did you do that? Valdor accidentally really typed bit, huh? game space 3 instead of game 3 all one word and updated the game to Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> <laughs> hey gotta go fast all right uh, yeah. i feel like i'm about to get hit and all of my rings are gonna come out which there is just go. all of my life points based do, on your do, answer do, there do, 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 do. nice when am i gonna be on game nights that is that is the question right what is game night? game nights what is it that was a joke okay sorry that's a reference to an old uh rooster teeth show oh okay um, let's see here. Oh, so here's something fun. I don't think the combo that I have actually kills Dreadbeard Santa. <laughs> Woo! Yep. Thank you, Solitan. <laughs> yep, it's just... 
That's fantastic. It is actually just set at at uh, Sonic the Hedgehog on the back end. <laughs> uh, yeah, I changed it back. <laughs> well, I've ha I have flying blockers now, so get at me, I guess. Get at you? Well, not please, not really. <laughs> Next, I'm guessing is... your combo is something to do with sacking all the tokens you're going to be getting. Lots and lots of tokens. Uh, I mean, I can tell you what, what I got to hand, and you'll figure it out. Whew, look at all of those triggers. So the card, which, by the way, Final Parting is like the best tutor ever made for this deck. Um, the card to hand I got was Thornbite Staff, and I'll just let you realize. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah, I know that combo. Mm -hmm. It's a good one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a thing. You can just make infinite creatures yep uh, yeah and a blood artist effect which is in my graveyard would allow me to uh do other things just, but turns out don't have the uh don't have the win with the uh, soul sister on the board <laughs> soul sister yeah I'll just do that Turn that off. there we go not quite how that works yeah beanside thank you so much message to me the list for the tweaked tatiova list sweet the 3dh nice. version yeah oh i was the person that said that i uh greater roared for 67 last week with my tatiova deck nice that card seems really good with tatiova too yeah and then i just have like a really stupid ending combo with uh maloku um patron of the moon and lotus cobra nice <laughs> that's awesome so Derp Attack's next card is Exile. It's two and a white, instant, exile target, non-white, attacking creature. You gain life equal to its toughness. Non-white attacking creature. That is really specific. Yeah. And you gain life equal to its toughness. Uh, I don't know. I think because it has the restriction of non-white, but it has the gain life equal to its toughness it might be probably just three white because that's like neck snap and um all the other like destroy target attacking or blocking creature type i want it to be uh orzov because of the well it doesn't drain but yeah it doesn't drain it gives, it gives you life instead of the person attacking life yeah but there's still like definitely other uh cards that do similar things with like with like the next snaps and the um whichever one's in dominaria yeah. currently it's like four That's it's like three and a white instant destroy target target uh attacking or blocking creature right which one is this or no <laughs> sorry. I'm, thinking, I'm sorry i'm thinking of i i'm i just been drafting lorwin and so i was i was also thinking of the one that's in there too i can't remember the name of it yeah, Custer Sword, we, we killed Lynx because we did have a couple of times where some uh some bots or whatever got in and posted some C D links. Is this the end of Phyrexian's turn? No, beginning of combat. Divine verdict, yes, thank CD you for Boost Moose. Is the Korok seed link from Majora's Mask, and I hate myself for making that reference. <laughs> Hey, Nilla. Game three, game three, game three. Sure. So. I mean, I can't, like, I can't win right now. With the uh, Souls Attendant? Yeah, he um, can't kill Dreads, but he can kill well, us. Uh, I, well, I mean, it, it revolves around, like, if I if you exile my graveyard, I'm, I'm dead. If, if a lot of things happen then i'm just gone so i wouldn't worry about it too much sure of course i am also the person saying like don't worry about it so suggestion for commander don't versus... worry about me possibly killing everybody yeah. legends of grandeur from future site using the commander and nine other copies in the deck to make that mechanic work properly uh that'd be gross actually um... i think even through the souls attendant i could win because i could i'm I would end up being able to sack more creatures than made, maybe? No, that doesn't make sense. 
No, because, yeah, each time the creature would come out, I'd just gain the life back, so I'd stay neutral. Well, eventually... You'd have to have multiple, like, blood artist effects. Yeah, I have about all of them in this thing. Yeah, yeah. Unexpected. Uh, it's one of my favorite cards I've ever read. I know, right? That's why I'm so excited to play it. I don't know what's on the top of my deck, and I don't really care. Well, it's a lot better uh, to play online because shuffling your deck every Flames. time is really. <laughs> oh, uh, rip. Yeah, uh, no, he got he got it back though. So. Yeah, you do get it back if it's a land. Cast it again. <laughs> uh, don't think I can. I don't have the. I have one, two, three, four. Oh, actually. I think I can win through the Soul Sister. How many times nice. a day do random people message you or mention a new idea for Commander Versus? Not very many, honestly. <laughs> what did? What is the next old set? Uh, I don't know. I, I cannot think of one. I will let somebody else think of a set that Derp Tech can find a find a uh, couple of old cards for them to see what they would cost if they were just printed today. Let's go stupid Ice Age. <laughs> Ice Age, sure. Derp Attack. Let's go Ice Age. Ice Age, the recoldening. <laughs> Targeted again. Ugh. Well, I can't attack you, so. Well, no, neither can anyone else. <laughs> okay, let's see how. Wait, did you just graph? Can... Yeah, he grafted the opposite. <laughs> <that. laughs> nice. Okay, let's see how stupid we can get here. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> yeah, oh, so, so draw down to one so I can kill you next turn. Yeah, right? Yeah, I know, right? Necro, eh? No, no reprints that sets either. Okay, sure. Yes, Ice Age is what we're going with right now. Pretty much, I'm trying to search for an answer, but we'll see if I get there or not. Necro should really be in this deck too. All right, here we go. Y'all don't even know that I'm gonna combo off next turn, so whatever. <laughs> no, I really, I don't know. Just get all the cards. When they announced hey. the three sets for Ravnica, it kind of made my theory take a hit. But I thought because of the um, the rare cycle with like Goblin Chain Whirler, I thought for sure we were going back to Theros within Dominaria standard cycle. Oh no, they've been heavily hinting at Ravnica. Oh yeah, I just didn't think it'd be three sets. Uh, I kind of assumed when they said, hey, this is a thing and we might come back to, we might do, you know, multiple sets, that it would just be like, whatever the fall set is, I was just under the impression they were going to be there for three sets, because they had probably sort of planned on maybe being there. Like, I'm guessing by the time that they were wrapping up the fall set and the following two sets, they had, dis that was when they just decided to switch back to all right, we're not doing the multiple rotations a year, you know, from like two years ago or a year ago or whatever. Yeah. So that was like right when they were wrapping that up. So the fall set and the the early 2019 set, uh, which are the two Ravnica sets that we know the titles for, uh, were probably already being wrapped up and were going to be assumed to be part of the same standard. And then the third set was going to be in the following standard. And like have a rotation built around it or something which would have been weird mm -hmm. so that's probably one of those where they're like okay this will be fine because then those other two sets will rotate out like a little bit later or something so or they might have like fixed that right at the end but uh but that's kind of how it feels like where they were right at the edge of that of that decision coming you know returning to uh just the one rotation in the fall and that's it that makes sense um, I, do, I do think that they're going to be going back to Theros 
at some point uh, soon because I do think that they'll have like the return of Elspeth at some point. Uh, just feels like you know something that they will do. Wow, you went down to twenty. I am impressed. Yeah, <laughs> also hard. Have a good night, Beansai. Thanks for coming out. Got a bunch of Ice Age cards. Derp Attack did say that they're starting off with uh, with Necro. If Necro were to be printed today for the very first time, what would it cost? Oh my god. What? <laughs> trying to think what I can... Probably at least like f six, right? Yeah. Like three black and three? Yeah. Valdor says would never see print. You're probably right. That's fair. <clears throat> Man, I can't even do that either. Do it. Well, let's see if I draw the card I need. Did you <laughs> try to? Would that be return to dust? Uh, possibly. Yeah, Garador and Necropotence. <sighs> <laughs> they would immediately drug test the person to suggest such a card. Hey, I have to throw all these on the stack. Yep, I... all of them. Why They're all the same thing. That? Time to click a lot. Oh, of no, things. no, Obsidat player. Let me get Obsidat. <laughs> there Another we go. Another auto stack. Now they should. That would have been terrible if you had to stack all of them. There we go. Uh, Sounds of impact. Odd, but potentially relevant reason to go back to Theros. What happens in universe if Gideon kicks the bucket against Bolas? Does he go to the Theros underworld? I would imagine not unless he's on Theros, you know? Yeah, just like the gods of Theros don't have power outside of it, Theros itself because of the mana. Mm -hmm. You know what? Angersloth, you go nuts. I'm gonna get rid of the uh... I'm gonna get rid of the soul's attendance. <laughs> oh! You monster! <laughs> My man. <laughs> Let's end this. End it now. Why? So why not? Well, now I feel like I could be really trolly and just not win. But okay. no, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna be that guy. Icequake, one black black sorcery. Destroy target land. If that land was a snow land. Icequake deals one damage to that land's controller. Well, Jedbeard, I really hope you draw the Return to Dust or whatever our answer you're looking for. Yeah. There's two possible cards I think I can get. You drew so, most of your deck, so... You did what, like the top half? Yeah. Who's uh, Gideon, or uh, Garrick is still just cursed. And uh, wandering. Cursed. It'd be kind of awful bad luck if you... Didn't draw at least one of them in the half. Yeah. Magic is a game built on variance. Mm -hmm. If you exile it, you don't keep the counter. <laughs> I know, right? Oh, well. It'll disappear. Oh, oh but I gave you that counter, Dred. <laughs> I know, right? I grafted it to you. It was a gift. You threw it away. Threw that <laughs> counter away. I don't I think I don't see that too blue, by the way. <laughs> what too blue? <laughs> you see nothing, nothing at all. Need a stream because I'm representing a counter spell doesn't mean I actually have one. Oh no, I have to sacrifice a creature. This completely ruins my plan. Right? I'm sure. Oh, never mind. Drew the perfect card. <laughs> no, I drew an altar's reap. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah, some people are saying that uh, their their prediction is that uh, Bolus will be fighting all of the the Gatewatch, and he'll have killed some number of them, and then like Jace or somebody will be in like a final standoff, and then Garrick will just pop out of nowhere, just slay Bolus, and then just be like, "You're next," and then disappear. Everybody's like, uh, um, did that just happen? I don't know how I feel about that, but, eh? 
Well, if you got it, you got it. He's being awful quiet. I uh, think he has it. Uh, doo, 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 doo. Swords. Yeah, swords. Oh yeah, I figured it was a swords. <laughs> uh, I figured see. swords and return to dust. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. How do I want to do this? I'm not sure what ice quick CMC would be. What with it being snow covered. Sacrifice land. it, draw card, and gain a life. I mean, or I could sacrifice it on a creature to get something back. Like something sweet. Oh, actually, let's see. Do I do I want to do I want to put this in the graveyard instead of? Hmm. <laughs> yeah, let's be greedy. Being greedy. All right. Whisper goes to the graveyard. Ooh. <laughs> Whisper comes back. Oh. I mean, hopefully. You don't get my one win counter. You're trying to kill everyone. <laughs> <laughs> I understand, and I respect that. Next card is Pox. Black, black, uh. black. Sorcery. Each player loses a third of his or her life. This card's a third of the cards. Sacrifices a third of their creatures, sacrifices a third of the lands, round up each time. What would Pox cost if it was printed for the first time nowadays? Five mana. Do you think I so? mean I know I know three's the theme, but probably like five mana. Three black 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 is a pretty good guess. Yeah, that too. Yeah. Small pox was just black black and then one discard sacrifice sacrifice yeah five black black says nilla what was the pirate that just came out that was wait what just happened third of the life next door next door oh, okay There's that. Only Whisper was a shaman. Yeah, right. Uh. Uh, all right. Well, I saved us. <laughs> Four turns. Hey, even though Jeremy over there is trying to purposely end it Aww. For, for at least two turns, trust me. I don't have a way to get Whisper back. Color shifted card. Dreams Probably of the dead. Probably should have put it in the command zone then. <laughs> uh, oh well. Mm, well, I, didn't, I don't have the mana to put Thornbite on after casting it from command zone anyway, so. Mm-hmm. Hmm. I don't know. Dreams of the Dead. Three and a blue enchantment. For one and a blue, return target white or black creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield. Th that creature gains cumulative upkeep two. If the creature would leave the battlefield, exile it instead of putting it anywhere else. Oh. Huh. That sounded great until that last bit. Yeah. I don't know. That's a weird card. Yeah, that's a super weird card. Return white or black creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield is pretty ridiculous. I think they would not put the color restriction on it, but I don't know. If it was printed as is, they would change it to black or just ores off and then just make it like three black white and then make it uh, one and then a hybrid black white 
and I don't, well, they wouldn't put cumulative upkeep on it, but it could have that, I guess, because that could be a way that they do it. Mm. Told you it was color shifted. Yeah, you're right. Might give it the Carnophage text instead of the Cumulative Upkeep. Yeah. I can see that. <laughs> Joe does Super Friends with Stupidly Fun. Nice. Fencer and Thalia's Lancers. Wow. Yeah. Ooh. Hello, Raph Flash Tech. Right? Yeah. Flash in Thalia's Lancers. Get in Fencer. Flash in Fencer. Uh -huh. Yep. Seems pretty sweet. Hmm. I do love the art on these surf tokens. They're just like angry old men with muscles. Hmm. Spinning the wheel. Yeah. I'm all the way up. And board wipe. That'd be pretty sweet. Frontier bivouac. Another land. Two lands in a row. Two lands Here it goes. in a row. <laughs> uh, Can you cast it again? Nope. Don't know. I think we have some expected results here. Some very, <laughs> some very yeah. expected results. Actually, I can cast it again. Oh, yeah, because Sylvan. Yeah. I think you know what you have to do, Jeremy. Oh, yeah, 100%. Uh, let's do it. I'm predicting land. Oh, well, I hope so. That'd be great. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with like the called shot of one of the Myojins. Ooh, that would be fun. But it won't have the counter because it wants to cast from his hand. Yeah, you have to cast yeah. from your hand. I know, but it would still be good. Blaine's got it. Yeah, oh my... Blaine's. Oh my come back right here. <laughs> oh, it's so good. Oh my. Hey, goodness. you're ramping like super hard over here, though. Right. Mom, get the chromatic lantern. Cast Greaves. What am I at? 22? Yeah, we'll die slowly. This combo is like ruining everybody. I haven't taken any damage from combo, actually. Yeah, you cast your song really early. In oh, never mind. Yeah, I took two. <laughs> yeah, it's 18, 34, 20, and 40. Need a stream for the reprint game. Oh, um, man, Tripbeard has so many cards. I don't know what you're talking about. So many cards. Do, 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 do. That's not fun. Uh oh. Listen here. Indicate. Listen here. Yeah. Listen Ooh. here. Ooh, the dank full art. Yep. Oh, that's gross. It's melting his face off. <laughs> makes me think of uh, Indiana Jones. <laughs> it makes me think of that movie where they took that guy's face off. off. <laughs> Don't worry, they put it back uh, on another guy. What was it? John Travolta and who else? Nicholas Cage. Whose face would you rather have? Neither. Cage over Travolta, though. I don't know. It depends. Oh. 
I'm a wild flower. <laughs> I'm a cat floating younger, through the night. Younger trees. Travolta was probably slightly better looking than younger Cage, but nowadays, yeah, Travolta's put on a little bit of weight and everything. And Nicolas Cage is a stark raving lunatic. That is true. <laughs> you don't have to worry about what, how you're going to be perceived okay. that way. <laughs> You know what? I talk smack, but that man puts every bit of himself into every single performance. Choose so. the scenery. I gave you one last time. You don't get one this time. <laughs> you squandered it. <laughs> squandered it. <laughs> squandered the one token. You squandered my the plus one, one plus one offer. Beans, I said, my girlfriend said neither of them. <laughs> That is the correct answer. I mean, I'm not disagreeing. That is the correct answer. Well, that wasn't a reliquary tower, so... Oh, yeah. Does anyone... I already have reliquary tower. Reliquary? Oh. Yeah, is that the foil promo version? Oh, you have a weird-looking fold promo version. Okay. Dance yeah. of the Dead? Derp attack. What are you doing here? Dance till you're dead. Wait, that's different. Hmm. Well, you can probably do literally about anything, so... I have a few things I can do. Dance of the Dead. I think this is probably the best option. Don't you do yeah. it. Don't you dare do Pull it. everything up. Yep, Day of Judgment. Oh, uh, I'm actually okay with this? Yeah. Uh, draw two? Told you that. Why? Oh, well, no, I couldn't have done that with everything gone. Yeah, because you have to sack a creature. Yeah. I'm perfectly fine with this. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. Why is Day of Judgment gold? Because Magic Online. Because it's, because it's, <laughs> solid. Because it's solid gold, baby. Let's see. So that'll leave me with. One, two. Uh oh, he's counting mana. Everybody panic. Mm. I'm at least gonna make you do it one more time. The stain for oh. okay. Because I'm not okay with all my creatures being gone. It's pretty much all I have. Kind of assumed as much. Do you have another one, Santa? Uh. <clears throat> yes and no. Ah, come on, you know you want to. <laughs> oh, I forgot that. How much would Dance of the Dead cost? I don't even remember what Dance of the Dead fully does. It's just a wall of uh, text, right? A, a bunch of silly stuff for two and a black, right? Yeah. Hmm. Is that the one with Storm or the one with Buyback? I think it's the one with Buyback, right? Dance of the Dead, one and a black. Oh my goodness. MTG Bot actually had to do two different posts because it's got so much text on it. One in a black enchantment aura. Enchanted creature card. Enchant creature card in a graveyard. When Dance of the Dead enters the battlefield, if it is on the battlefield, it loses enchant creature card in a graveyard and gains enchant creature put onto the battlefield with Dance of the Dead. Put enchanted creature card onto the battlefield tapped under mm. your control and attached Dance of the Dead to it. When Dance of the Dead leaves the battlefield, that creature's controller sacrifices. Enchanted creature gets plus one plus one and doesn't untap during its controller's untap step. At the beginning That's of the upkeep. Way. Of the enchanted creature's nope. controller, that player may pay one black if he or she does untap that creature. Oh, his Thornbite staff. Oof. Meep. You've angered me. I think you'd be worded a lot different. <laughs> can I tap for two mana here? It keeps saying I can tap for two mana. Where's my other mana? <laughs> you can tap for two mana. I swear I can't tap for two mana. You can tap for two mana. I mean, I would love to tap for two mana, because I have a two mana thing, but... 
I guess not. Oh well. I think probably so, it would just cost the same amount. Y'all can uh, y'all can stop targeting me because I have literally thrown my staff back. <laughs> I'm trying to. I'm. I'm racking my brain trying to think of any way I can get that back. No, there's nothing. I'm looking at my list right now. <laughs> uh, oh, you weren't really focusing, man. But yeah. Yeah, I think it cost about the same. With the restriction of it has, you have to pay to untap it. You'd probably be fine. Zeth Oath Sworn. What does 3DH mean to me? Put this explanation for you there. Ah, thank you, Pelter. Pelter got to it first. He's still drawing cards. Look at this guy. <laughs> Still call, drawing cards through Necropotence. Yeah. How many cards you got to draw with Necropotence this time? None. 20. None. 41 cards in hand is enough. It's too, yeah. too many is what it is. I think it's sufficient is what it is. Yeah, it's too many. You shall just sit here. Dirtle some more. Just sit here and dirtle some more, he says. Very nice name, Sazeth Oath Sworn, by the way. Dark Vanishing. It's the next card. Oh yeah, stupid necropotents won't let me yield. No, you can never yield with necropotents. No. Two and a black instant destroy target non-black creature. It can't be regenerated. I need death to greater in my deck. That sounds yeah. That sounds correct. He's a pretty good one. Seven. Seven. Hmm. Dread. Yeah. Hmm? I was just saying you had to click uh, the button. Yeah, I was putting always yes, always yield to it. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> well, you and you're not gonna. Another. There might be an occasion where you wouldn't want to gain the life, right? A period, J period. If someone has a tainted remedy. Do not. No, do not. <laughs> do not seek the treasure. <laughs> hey, Jerry. A period, J period. It's funny these decks look like they would cost $100 in paper, 100 plus in paper. Basically, what is online. You're right. <laughs> well, I could have killed Dreadbeard, but now I can't because I'll have no creatures. Well. <sighs> Oops. <laughs> and he wins the game <laughs> with 41 cards in hand and constant How life. How do I win the game? You I'm have... not winning the game right now. 41 cards in hand. You're about to gain another 10 life. Pretty oh, yeah, sure. sure. Another 10 life. That, that seems pretty good. Yes, yes. Let the salt flow through you. <laughs> Do it. MTGO EDH games can take a little bit longer. I don't know. I usually get about two games in per that stream. Stupid, That's three hours. So it just kind of depends on your play group and everything. Because obviously it has to do all of the triggers, so. Yeah, but there's a lot of stuff in uh, in Moto that goes a lot quicker, it, like shuffling. Exactly. You take out a lot of the shuffling time. That... More dudes that make dudes. Woo! Dude that makes dude is... with another dude. Hit you with a dude that two makes twos. dudes. Hendrick Sar. Eh, putrefy. <laughs> All right, sure. <laughs> Knock that out.
All right, cool. Now I can F8 and go to the bathroom that I've been waiting <laughs> to do. Right? I can have relief. <laughs> All right, BRB. Derp, I would suggest that you go ahead and ask the people in Discord. I'm probably not going to go into there. I usually don't go in and start typing while I'm on stream just because I don't have the second monitor. If somebody decides to have priority all the time, it gets bad. But if everybody passes priority through turns where they don't have anything they want to do, it isn't so bad. Yeah, it can. It, it depends. Like, if you get a bunch of triggers, um, it can definitely get bad. I have, We also broke the game last time, last week. Yeah, like a week ago. Somebody cast uh, White Sun Zenith with, like, a Parallel Lives or something in play for, like, 30 something absurd oh the other day i ended up having 20 verdant sun avatars on the field nice that was a lot that was a nice stack i ended the game with over 1200 lives hmm. <laughs> this isn't too bad i did this that uh, there we go. Come over that thing and I got it. Two into my hand. All right, did I miss anything amazing? Uh, insect hit the field. That's bad. It's the one creature in the whole deck that is in fact it's actually only there for the proliferate triggers. Mm. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's literally what everyone who has that card says it is. <laughs> I, I believe How it. interesting. <laughs> nope, that's exactly what's there. No, I, I believe you. But my Tommy gun don't. <laughs> All my creatures with 1-1 one -one counters would, go ahead, go would go indicate go that I'm probably not playing in fact. <laughs> Or I'd be playing a lot more infect creatures than this. I wish I could get the uh, Atraxa deck in paper because I really want, I really just want the uh, the, the token producers. Or the counter producers, rather. I'm just going to shrink my board even further with mana rocks. <laughs> Keep rocking it. Why you got all no unexpected results, there. except it's going to be a land. Nah. You got all them tiny things over there. Keep on rocking in the free world. Keep on rocking. God dang it, now you have a yes. second Yes! <laughs> you monster. That's how we do things here. Now, Phyrexian, I totally would have held that board wipe if you would have let me know. Day, you know Just ordered the last of the cards for Vorinclex desk deck based on mine from Season 7. Ugh. Oof. I'm not generally going to announce that I can kill someone and you literally board wipe the second it flipped to your turn. I may have said before, like after Dreadbeard's turn, it actually concluded and he had like no mana and no way to interact with what I was going to do. But I certainly wasn't going to say anything before then because then he would have just interacted with his 40 cards in hand. You well, know, Dreadbeard. I think no matter what you do, he's going to have an interaction. You know, uh, not when he was all tapped out. You don't have to keep attacking me. With or keep targeting. I'm me not attacking that. you. Keep, you don't have to keep targeting me with that. You don't have targeting to. is different. I I, I I didn't attack uh, you. But I don't have the archon anymore. <laughs> well, that certainly changes what I'm going to do next turn. Any suggestions for updates from more recent sets? I can't think of too many off the top of my head. Oh no. For Vorn Clan stack. Oh. This isn't what I think it is. Is Exanguinate. it? Debt to debtless. Probably debt, which means I'm gone. I'm gone as well. Yeah, I'm not going to win, says Dreadbeard. Yep, there it is. Eight, that is 16. That knocks me and... Literally, the only person who benefited from that board wipe was him. You had a board full of creature blockers. Jeremy had a creature that said no one could attack him, and I had a board full of creatures that 